Now tell me, Papa, I know like the current moderator, you also studied in the UK, you studied in Scotland. Mm -hmm. But you were here as a student, you went back and you mm -hmm. rose through the ranks to become a moderator. Mm -hmm. What is it like serving God in Ghana and serving God here in the UK? I spent quite a lot of time here. Did my master's in Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. Went back home to teach at Trinity Theological Seminary. Came back to do a PhD in Aberdeen. Then went back to Trinity after my term. I came over as an associate chaplain at Edinburgh University. The contrast is too dramatic. But whatever it is, the core fact is that whether in Ghana or here you are worshiping the same God, the medium may be different, the ethos may be different, but at least we are trying to live within the two worlds. The shocks are many to mention, but we're trying to cope. Wonderful. Viewers, you've been listening to the Right Reverend Dr. Sam Prempe. It's a man that has been a great, great inspiration, and we just thank God for your life. I don't know how many years you've been preaching the gospel, I entered the ministry in 1962, okay. and then was ordained some few years l later. So I would say that at least I've done a little over 40 years in the ministry. And during this period, I've been a source of inspiration, particularly to young ones who want to train for the ministry and who have had to go through the theological colleges. Many of them have had the pr privilege of teaching and so to them I say, be inspired, continue, remain focused, and help to nurture and be nurtured so that you'll be best equipped to provide the kind of leadership which the country needs at this time in our history, both in Ghana as well as here. Mm. Viewers, you'll be listening to a right reverend, Dr. Sam Prempe. I want to thank God for your life, man of God. Thank you. I want to thank God for the legacy you've left. Mm -hmm. I want to thank God for the great work you've done. And thank you very much for coming with us on this program. Um, in about two weeks or three weeks from now, we'll be hosting a great man of God in Ghana, uh, the Dr. Robert, uh, Richard Roberts, a son of our Roberts. I don't know if you also have any... We, we learned quite a bit about him, you mm -hmm. see, because he had been frequenting Ghana in the past, and uh, we had the privilege of meeting him mm -hmm. either at the studio or in smaller circles to, right. to hear him speak. He is great inspiration to so many people, and we are grateful to God for giving us such a person. You're also invited to the Ghana for Christ Crusade with myself and with Robert and with the moderator as a special guest of honor, and your life will never be the same again. Stay blessed. God bless you. And remember, we said last week that delays are not denials. The fact that the miracle you have been believing God for has delayed does not mean that God has been Thank, Thank you for watching, watching Miracles. To all our sponsors, we say thank you and God bless you for your support. If you have been blessed through Miracle Touch and want to be part of this great vision, please write to Dr. Lawrence Tete, Worldwide Miracle Outreach. P.O. Box 8786 Northwest 2 1 WR You may worship with us every Sunday at 11 a.m. Call 0044 0207 357 0910 or visit miracletouch.org God bless you.